Let's start by talking a bit about the Western Civ course. Tony, since you took Western Civ twice in your student years, I'd like to start with you. Uh, what is it that you love about the course? And tell us about uh, why you took the course twice. Well, for me, the, the course really was my introduction to history. It was the, the second history course that I took. And the version of it that I had, a little bit like the version that we're offering with this book, was one that emphasized learning to read documents, learning to understand how to think about sources, how to put them in a setting. And it was a course that aimed to give you a sense of different periods and places in the West, and then to get that from the sources, but also learn to use that knowledge to read the sources. And for me, after having mostly studied literature and languages, this really came as a revelation. It was, an, and it seemed to open lots of possibilities for thinking about the past in a three-dimensional way, for uh, imagining it in color and in, and in all its vitality. And uh, I still try to teach the course that way myself and have tried to make this book a, an introduction to that way of thinking. What were the circumstances that led to your taking it twice? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well I, I took it in the summer in an intensive form, which took 10 weeks. It was a little bit like drowning because you know, everything that ever happened passed before your eyes very quickly in three-hour classes, three days a week with a lot of reading. And I greatly enjoyed that. And in fact, one of the two instructors was ev eventually supervised my doctoral dissertation. So uh, I liked the teachers very much. But I felt as if uh, it would be good to go over the material in more depth. So the next year I sat in on the normal course, which lasted the whole year, and where you got to take a little bit more time and read a bit more deeply and widely. And uh, But that was also a sign of how much I'd enjoyed the course the first time. I really, the end of the course, I really felt like saying, do that again. That's, <laughs> so that's great. So for students who say are going to take one course in history in their college careers, why, why take Western Civ? I think there are many reasons. Um, one is that it tends to be taught as an introduction to thinking historically and to um, beginning to understand the way in which historians use sources and build their picture of the past. So you get uh, two kinds of lesson for the price of one. You get an introduction to a lot of really exciting and vital history and you get a sense of how that history has been written. Um, you get, uh, I think, an introduction to where some of our basic assumptions and institutions and ways of understanding the world ultimately come from. As modern America is part of this web of places and peoples um, which goes back visibly, even though loosely, all the way to ancient Greece and the ancient Near East. And you know, having a democracy as we do, having a, a, a court system with an elaborate kind of legal education and legal reasoning, um, believing, as most Americans still do, that there is a supreme being of some kind who rules the universe. All of these are part of Western history, and, they, and to take a course like this is to see where the roots of these institutions are.